Hello there. Uh, I'm going to show you the Cerebral Debugger. Uh, and as we can see here, I have loaded up the to do app on todomvc.com, only running with Cerebral code. And on the right side, we see the debugger. I also have my console up down here. Um, but before we go and take a closer look at this, uh, let's go to the code. Um, and specifically, we will look at the main JS file. Uh, and what we're going to look at here is how we define these signals. And the signals is what uh, is able to mutate the state of Cerebral. And they are the implementation that gives Cerebral such control of your application state flow. As, as, so as we can see here, we have, for example, one signal called new to do title changed, and it will run an action called set new to do title. And we have lots of signals and actions there. Uh, and you can see that we are reusing actions across different signals. Um, and we also have an asynchronous signal, uh, sorry, asynchronous action right here called save to do. Uh, if we go further down, we can also see that we have a router that also uses the signals to change the filter uh, of the to-do. So if we are looking at the active, the completed and, and stuff like that. And that signal is called route changed and it has a set filter action and a set visible to-dos action. Okay, so let's move back to the application. And as we can see on the right side here, we have the debugger and it has already run a signal and that's because of the router. Um, and what uh, what you're actually seeing here is uh, a button, which we're going to take a closer look at very soon. Uh, you also have the possibility to reset uh, the state uh, and, we are, uh, and we have an overview of how many signals has been run and you are, will be able to use this slider to move back and forward in time. We will look at that very, very soon. Um, what we see here is that one signal has been triggered and it's called route changed. It took six milliseconds to run because I'm running Camtasia and on a very old MacBook Air. Uh, so it's <laughs> kind of slow. Um, but this gives you an indication of where uh, where you have lots of mutations and running lots of code in your signals and maybe should be a bit careful uh, because every signal runs on a, uh, after a, uh, an animation frame. So you have these 16 milliseconds to run your mut mutations and get the state from uh, the cerebral into the components. And all this is calculated uh, up here. Um, on when the route change signal is uh, triggered, it runs one action called set filter and another action called set visible to do's. And that's exactly what we saw back here, a signal called route changed, set filter and set visible to do's. Uh, each of these actions run a mutation. The set filter action runs a set mutation on the filter state. And the value it puts there is the string all. And we can see the same thing on set visible to do section. It changes a visible to do state and it puts an empty array. So what uh, I'm going to show you now is that when I do changes to the application, we can look at the signal uh, uh, being triggered and what actions uh, are done. Uh, if I hit enter here, we can also see that uh, we do push and we also have merge and stuff like that. Um, uh, as you can see here, we have this special action. Uh, it's called save to do and it states that it's async, which means it's asynchronous, of course. So let me just add a new to do here. Uh, yep. And we can actually see the action is running. And when it's done, it continues with the actions after it. Um, now what's mm, really important is that when we have asynchronous actions um, and we are going to move back in time, um, that action can't be replayed as an asynchronous action because you would then probably contact the server, get new data, and you wouldn't be able to like move quickly back and forth in time. 
So what Cerebral does is it remembers the result of that asynchronous action. So when you move back in time, you will actually do that synchronously. So that's really, really nice. So let's let's see this um, let's see this in action. Let me just click the reset button, and I'm also going to click this button up here, which means that it will actually record all the signals. And as I do the typing here now, you see the number of signals increase. And let me just hit enter here. And what we can do now is actually move back in time, just like this. And as you can see, we have each signal and we, the UI is reflected. And this is a really powerful tool because uh, in complex applications, you have lots of state flow and mutations and, and stuff like that. And it can be very difficult to, to put all that flow into your head and, and really understand how everything uh, works. So the debugger is uh, able to give you an incredible overview of how your application works. Um, what I also want to show you is that the debugger actually stores this data in local storage. So if I did some changes now to the code, maybe the UI or something, and I would refresh, which I'm going to do now, it has that state again, um, or it keeps that state around. As you can see, it added a new route change because that signal triggers as the application loads. But if I move back, we can see that I still have all these state changes and I can still move back and forth. So that's uh, really powerful. What I also want to show you is that if I move back to this signal uh, and you see this uh, to do's uh, mutation, I do a push on the to do's array and we can see what I'm putting into that array. But what if I wanted to know what is the state of this array on this signal? I can just click this to-dos state and Cerebral will log that uh, to-dos array into the console. And as you can see, I have access to, to the to-do here. What's important to, to notice is that uh, Cerebral is immutable. So when I go back and look at other uh, signals with the same to-dos array, that will be the correct to-dos array uh, related to that specific signal. Um, and that is, yeah, as I said, the immutable, immutability of Cerebral. Um, so yeah, if I just click around here, uh, do some changes, add something, I can uh, set it as completed. Oops. Uh, all I can go in and I can change, do stuff like that. And as I move backwards, we can see everything happens. Yeah, so that is the debugger for Cerebral. Uh, 